What's going on guys, Kyger here, bringing you another best build guide. We already did Gladiator, Berserker, Wind Chaser, Marksman. Yesterday we did uh, Armor. Today we're doing Mechanician. Later this week should be both uh, Priest and Judge. And then next week should be Dragon Knight and Dragon Fighter. So at that point you should have everything up to date and then whenever there's a new fairy or anything added they will be updated to include the new fairy or anything going on in the game. So right here we're going to check out Mechanician. Uh, as we see right here a little bit about the class, the class benefit, summon units, duration plus 60%, increase the summon units attack that equal to the owner's defense time uh, plus 40%. Class pairings do goes well with priest, gladiator, or wind chaser. And then also the bonuses you get right here from the echo that I am suggesting which is earth gives you defense which gives your uh, summons attack but also gives you damage percent which is very powerful. Now over here in PvP for top league we're looking at earth still Carnation Mommy over here on the assist fairies, everyone else deployed, stat priority, damage increase, PvP damage increase, damage decrease, PvP damage decrease, crit and pierce. Now we're using our three uh, main skills down here, but we are not using our top right skill, we are using Blasting Sparkle from the armor side. This is a very interesting point of contention because Blasting Sparkle on itself can trigger the overload by itself. Use Blasting Sparkle, Blasting Sparkle, Blasting Sparkle when you're doing the waiting in the top league. You don't, before the gates come down, you use Blasting Sparkle over and over until you get close to overload and then you'll be able to make use of that uh, movement speed and healing decrease. Over here, uh, 12 Slaughter, 6 Rigidity, 6 God Bless, and 4 Super Strength. Uh, the base attack is to work with our summons, as well as obviously our damage. Uh, it also goes well if we do our cross pairing over here to either Priest or Gladiator, because uh, Gladiator with higher attack is more healing. Same with Priest when you use the heal skills based on your attack. Over here we have the treasures which is based on team bonuses. It's going to be the same for most people. Uh, we also have break attack and tenacity. We are not going so much into crit. Uh, we have a little bit of crit right here if you're able to. Uh, but break is going to help us a lot. We also get a lot of crit from our um, class advancements and then having the nice little break will be helpful. You can change this out for crit. This is a flex spot for this class. Uh, then on to shrine when you're by yourself. Same stats, same fairy lineup. You can, if you want to, swap daisy out for carnation. Uh, if you're going to be fighting on the uh, actual, the top of the shrine more often than not, because she's good for the uh, AoE. Skills right here look the same, same crystals, same wills and cores, treasures, and then over here, guild war, uh, same thing, if you're going to be fighting towards middle, you can swap daisy out for carnation, if you're going to be defending individual corners, then I still think daisy over carnation. We're looking at the similar stats, similar skills, crystals, cores. Now what's very interesting about Mechanician specifically in Guild War is all th uh, the spiders and the turret can attack the uh, crystals themselves and you be running around collecting crystals as they drop letting you be a one man collection crew on a defensible area. Now over here on 2PVE we have the same kind of setup over here. Priest, uh, Gladiator, or Wind Chaser. You have to be careful if you do it with Gladiator, especially against other Gladiators, because 
Uh, if you set up your spiders and your turret at the same spot, they could just pull them in and use them at healing. You want to have your uh, spiders and your turrets at other places, and especially if they do have a gladiator or anyone that has high HP steal rate, you do want to be using your blasting sparkle on that player. Now here in PvE, uh, we're going straight into crit because that's going to be the most beneficial in PvE situations. As you see, we took off Carnation for Daisy. Uh, guild bosses obviously use whatever one that you have. Uh, we will excel the most on uh, Earth Day in my opinion because of how defense boosts are turrets damage increase damage to boss increase crit and crit damage uh, we are using the same skills because our our primary mech first skill is just bad that's why we're using blasting sparkle even though it doesn't really bring much in pve uh, effectively in pve what you're using mech for is you put down your three skills hit them with the blasting sparkle swap to whatever your main class is and then effectively fight in your other class and mainly swap over here to put down your summons again. Attack, crit, tenacity, boom, boom, boom. Path of Fire, same kind of setup right here with the fairies. Path of Fire is going to have a very similar setup. Uh, you just put them all down on whatever you're fighting. Uh, you want to put your turret down first before the spiders because you want the turret to take the aggro the spiders do damage when they explode but they also explode on their own and do more individual damage the turrets lower their attack which that's the first thing you want to happen so you want to put down the turret put your aoe up and then put up the spiders this aoe right here is very powerful because as you deal damage it is going to heal you as well as gives you a defense increase which coincidentally increases the power of your turrets crit, tenacity, and attack. Then over here in Elemental Realm, same kind of setup. Uh, in uh, Elemental Realm, this is going to depend on the boss. If it's a single target boss, like Fire, then you will swap out Carnation for Daisy, because she does better on individual bosses, whereas Carnation does better on the AoE one, such as Wind Elemental Realm. Uh, obviously, this is Elemental Realm, so you should be using uh, whatever the main weakness is, but you want to have a rotation class, right? So you want to be doing whatever they're weak to, holy if you can, and then ideally fire, but if you don't have Winter Cherry, that's not an option. So you can do fire for that as your rotation class, but if you don't have Winter Cherry, Earth would be your next best option. Same kind of setup with the crystals and treasures. Uh, as I said, the main idea with these cheat sheets is you say, okay, I want to play mech. I'm um, doing PvE. Uh, okay, it goes well with Priest, Gladiator, or Wind Chaser. And then you go and you look at those pages over there and you compare the two pages. You make your build accordingly and they're able to jump in and start crushing people. Let me know what you think down below. Until next time, guys.